Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. In this video, we want to share with you about the difference between a hydraulic clutch and a normal cable clutch. So I always believe in this myth that the hydraulic clutch is lighter and easier to use compared to a normal cable clutch. However, after experience both, I would say that this is a very personal thing. Generally, most of the people would fail to identify whether it's a hydraulic clutch or a cable clutch if they are blindfolded because they are really similar in terms of feel. If you do not pay very close attention to feel the difference, I would say 99% of the time you just can't tell the difference. So what's so different about the hydraulic clutch versus then the conventional cable clutch is how it works. The hydraulic clutch uses oil pressure to push open the clutch pad. That's why you will see a hydraulic reservoir on top of your left hander. The theory is basically just like your hydraulic brakes. And the cable clutch doesn't have the hydraulic pull. It basically uses the cable to push open the clutch plate. So in principle, they are doing the same thing, it's just different methodology. Uh, let's not talk about the lever, basically the lever itself can be customizable, you can replace it, you can change it to an adjustable lever. The only difference that you felt is that the hydraulic clutch is more consistent throughout the whole pool, which means that you are using equal force throughout the whole compression. As compared to the cable clutch, you felt that there is some spots that are slack and there's some spots that are tighter, which require you to use a greater force to compress it. However, there's also other options like the slipper clutch, which is usually lighter. Based on my own experience, view out there, if you have other experience, do share with us at the comment box below. And of course, there are options for converting your cable clutch to a hydraulic one. I have ever explored that before. And based on the quotation that I've gotten from a workshop, it generally costs anywhere about 500 Singapore dollar to get it swap out. The mechanic also shared with me that the end result are not that significantly different as compared to before. So you don't really need that conversion unless you are always in a start-stop traffic which require you to hold the clutch very constantly. For example, in a traffic jam or maybe crossing the border. And also most of the bikes that has heavier clutch are already hydraulic by default and the existing bike that are using cable clutch they are not that hard to pull in unless you have injured wheels or whatsoever then the automatic scooters or the DCTs are a better option I guess come to think of it the hydraulic clutch has a few benefits as compared to the cable clutch they require minimum maintenance just like your brake fluid probably you just need to swap out the dot 4 or dot 5 fluid every now and then you do not worry that the cable was snap or get dirty and get stuck fray etc you get a more consistent feel when you depress on the lever however as mentioned earlier in this video basically you can't really tell the difference if you do not put particular attention to it However, the downside is that if the hydraulic system breaks down, it's more expensive to replace the hydraulic clutch as compared to the cable because the cable are just a physical line that you can swap them out fairly easily. So the above is just my personal experience with using a hydraulic clutch and also a cable clutch. So of course, if you have other experience, do share with us and also help us to learn more about the differences between bike specification. You can drop your comments below. Thank you for watching my video and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.